kids? You like action! You like guns? You like white kung fu? You like bazookas? You like France? You like John Travolta? Okay, I know that last one was a little iffy, but it's alright guys, seriously, because as much as some people may not like him very much, John Travolta is capable of turning in some really good performances, especially when he's playing over-the-top characters. Yeah? Now he's yet another uber character in From Paris with Love, which is from Pierre Morel, the same guy who did last year's outstanding Taken. But unlike Taken, which leaned more towards realism with its action, kind of like if a Bond movie took place in real life, From Paris with Love goes all from Russia with love on us and puts the Bond back in the movie and just completely goes way over the top in every way, shape, and form with it. <laughs> The movie follows this guy named James Reese, played by Jonathan Reese Mayers, who is the assistant to the American diplomat in France. And he's doubling as some kind of a secret agent in training. He's kind of a straight-laced, nerdy, annoying stick in the mud, and it's pretty obvious why they made him like that when you see who the movie pairs him up with. For his final training assignment, Reese is paired up with this guy named Charlie Wax. Charlie Wax is this kind of super secret agent who plays by his own rules, which basically means that anytime he shows up somewhere, things explode and people die. Now, at first glance, it looks like Travolta's gonna play Wax the same way he sometimes does with that over-the-top, not-really-gonna-try-that-hard manner. You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But oh my goodness, would you be wrong. Once the action in this movie picks up, it's clear that they had a very specific goal in mind with the character of Charlie Wax, and that was to make him as much like a real-life Looney Tune character as physically possible. And they succeed gloriously. Travolta is hilarious in this film. He just tears through everything like buckshot through jello. He doesn't care. He'll shoot you in the face and then blow up your whole tenant building because you're the bad guy and he's super fly. You gonna tell him he's wrong? Hell no! And once you get the fact that this movie is so ridiculous that it could almost be called a comedy, it's an absolute blast! It's all like... We have to save the delegates. Where's my energy drinks? You can't have them. I will shoot you in the face! Here's your energy drinks. Let's get Chinese. Well, I don't really like Chinese. I'm shooting everyone in this race train! Whoa, not cool! I was cool with the bad guys! Oh, cool. Here, take this Ming vase full of coke. Well, I don't think that. Here, I have a Ming vase full of coke. Let's shoot these bad guys! This isn't what I signed on for. That's good tea. I still have a Ming vase full of coke. Bazooka! Yellow. Did he just answer his cell phone while hanging out the window of a car while holding a bazooka? Royale with cheese. I'm sitting there looking up in the rule book to see if that's cool or not, and I'm like... Let's see, tastefully done, works in context. Last Pulp Fiction reference I saw was in Armageddon, that's 15 years. I'll allow it. Whew, sorry about that. Uh, this movie put me in a good mood, as you can probably tell. It's just a lot of fun. But there were some problems with it, so here we go for my three and three. Three reasons you should see it and three reasons you shouldn't. We'll start with the bad. Number three reason not to see it, the cinematography was a little shaky. Um, sometimes it was hard to tell what was going on because the camera was all... And it was a little annoying, but it wasn't as bad as, say, the new Bond movies or Transformers because you know, you could actually tell what was going on. Number two reason not to see it, the plot wasn't anything to write home about. You're probably going to be able to spot any twist the movie throws at you pretty quick. That doesn't mean it's bad, but if you're a regular movie watcher, you've seen this before. Number one reason not to see it, if you don't get the fact that this movie and the character of Charlie Wax are not meant to be taken seriously, you probably won't enjoy it, especially if you don't like John Travolta, because he is the reason that this movie exists. And here's the three reasons you should see it, as if you couldn't already tell.
Number three reason to see it. Shaky camera aside, the action in this flick is pretty good. It's kind of a cross between Taken and Die Hard, which means that it's over the top, but it's in that magical zone where it might still be physically possible. Maybe. Number two reason to see it. The movie's got a great sense of humor. It's kind of like it's winking at you the whole time. Again, it's a lot of fun. And the number one reason to see it? John Travolta as Charlie Wax. We could get into the plot and Reese, who is technically the main character, but you know what? It's completely pointless because all you need to know is that John Travolta single-handedly makes this movie worth watching. As for my own personal rating out of 10, with a 5 being average, I give From Paris With Love an 8. Now, initially I had given it a 7, but the sheer amount of fun that I had while watching it demanded that extra point. Is it worth your time? Oh yeah. It's awesome, and it once again proves that John Travolta is the man. Until next time, this is Pat Jackson saying... Yeah.